Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We're just gonna kick it off. I uh, hit this bonfire in the last episode, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and move forward in... Ariandel. <clears throat> if everything goes right... And I mean everything... Which in this DLC is not easy. But if everything does go right... We will be finishing this thing today. Now, of course, again... Who knows what will happen, even though I do have a pretty strong build. One thing I did change from the last episode is I put on the Slave Knight armor instead. Uh, it just looks cool. I tried it on and not the whole piece because the leggings are kind of stupid looking. They have like this weird gap in the almost ass area and it just looks very, very awkward. So, you know. I decided to not go with that and instead go with the normal cell sword leggings. So I know this would normally be taking place instead of the or this episode is taking up the stream slot. Uh, several people have asked when the next stream is and I'm actually planning one for tomorrow maybe. Uh maybe to play some Smash Ultimate. I don't know man. Like I've been playing Smash Ultimate and I like the game, it's just... Man, the online is so shitty. Um, I have gotten a LAN adapter for my Nintendo Switch. So I'm now wired in that thing. And Smash is still incredibly laggy because of the other people. And it's just really unfortunate, especially like... A fighting game with bad connections is possibly the worst thing you can have because the game is complicated enough already that you're trying to learn it and on top of that you have to deal with the fact that <clears throat> it's also incredibly laggy and Smash Ultimate apparently has a ton of input delay as well according to a lot of people so you know sometimes sometimes I get frustrated by that game when clearly I was playing better than the other person, but the lag makes it like impossible for me to get my attack out or something like that. That can get very, very frustrating. It's in the same boat as, you know, Street Fighter V and all that, which also suffers from... Um, lag issues. Oh, hello. What the hell? I've never seen that attack. And of course, you know, the, I know that the Switch is a different beast. You know, it's mainly a handheld. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. Where's my living weapon? So yeah, you know, a lot of people play in handheld mode. Because of that, you have, you know, maybe not the most stable connections. But still. I'm sure there can be ways to improve it. I always bring up one game on the Switch, which is Warframe. And Warframe plays almost perfectly. Uh, it runs smoothly. Generally, connections are good. Same applies for Switch Fortnite as well, like, there is clear examples of how to make a good multiplayer FPS in Warframe and, you know, even in Fortnite they just sometimes don't give a fuck, which is a shame. I know, oh, there it is, I was gonna say, I know there is a uh, shortcut here. Here it is, which weirdly you have to interact with and not just... Um... Okay. Alright game, if this is what you... If this is what you want to do, then, you know, whatever. Cool, got the shortcut. How am I down to one Estus, man? I must have not been paying attention. 
<clears throat> now see, my instincts are telling me... <clears throat> Damn. My instincts are telling me go back to the bonfire. I mean to Firelink Shrine, use your souls. My efficiency part of my brain is telling me just go on. Which I'm gonna... And I think we're getting... Yep. Some sick ass dodging. This is where you have to go, right? To go forward. Shit, I forgot this area. Um, yeah, I'm fairly... But down here is those assholes. These assholes. Yeah, fuck you. They actually have a pretty similar weapon to mine. Giant hammer slash mace type stuff. I think theirs is pretty good as well. Solid weapon. Right, no other way but forward. And this one is a motherfucker too. Yeah, these dudes. Straight up cheating. Told you. Yeah, don't even think about that. This game can be a clusterfuck. Alright, got one. Can you not backstab? Oh, hello. Fairly sure you can backstab. What the? I'm fairly sure you can backstab these dudes. There you go. That was a struggle. Let me tell you that. And for our rewards, we get Crestfallen, whatever. Large shard. Pretty sure that's not the only two things that are here. Just souls. I'm fairly sure this place is optional. It just loops around like that. Um. Oh, but there's also that weird tower-like area. Which is filled with these dudes. Yeah, I'm just, I just keep remembering all the stuff that's in this DLC. Which is still not a lot. Oh yeah. Earthseeker. It's a fairly good weapon if I remember correctly, right? I don't know where it is. There it is, Earthseeker. Needs faith. Interesting. Probably because, you know, it's um Earth worship, which you know you need faith for. So, you know, that's the lore. Vati confirmed. Official. How the hell do you get back from here? You just lose back around. There must be some... Yes. Knew there had to be a way back. There always is. So, I think I'm gonna, at this point, for sure, head back to Firelink because... Now I am low on Estus. Not even Estus, but I have a lot of souls. Probably a couple of levels. I mean, with these longer episode formats, I just knocked into my mic. I do apologize for the e-rape. You know, there is no rush. I'm really, really curious as to how Freed will be. Because, you know, I always found her difficult. Basically an endurance fight. We'll just see how much of a pain she is. I'm gonna be fairly honest with you. I've not died in quite a while. 
which that gives me one point. I think at this point we're getting some diminishing returns. I think more stamina never hurts. I think this only has like a C scaling. Oh wait, did I end up using... I had like a flash shard, didn't I? Yeah, because I have 13, I had 12 before. Alright, no worries. And we're going to, yeah, Snowy Mountain Pass. And this crown is so sick. <clears throat> Favorite piece of equip equipment. And me not being able to talk. But yeah, I really feel like... In terms of people have been asking when I'm going to start the streaming type videos, uh, we're getting close. I mean, I have this DLC, which if I do manage to finish in this episode, then it's going to be really, really good. And then the other DLC should only take three episodes at max. I think that DLC is about like three hours long. And then, then it's the finale. What the hell? Uh, hold on, why is the game so laggy? What the hell? Why is there so much delay? That's really weird. Sounds like the game was like not loaded properly. That would be an embarrassing death. Made it all the way here and die from falling off the tree. And then Neo, I mean, I'm on the final few missions. So, there's that. That should be okay. And then Darksiders 3 is the wild card because I'm not 100% sure how long that game is. I heard it's like 10 hours. It's around the 10 hour mark, so... Even that should be okay. I do hour long episodes, which... Yeah, just keep swinging. Stamina meter... Have we ever heard of it? This is the part with the wolves, right? Yep. Something I learned in this game pretty early on that the best way to counter these dog type enemies is to block and counter. I don't think so. Ward's Great Hammer is going up your ass. Not literally, because he only shoves like claymores and longswords and all stuff up people's asses. Hey, just a slam in the back will do. Sorry, doggos. Yeah, these dogs have a habit of... That one is not dead, but they do have a habit of swinging themselves off. The cliff. I don't know if this is where we... Nah. No, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I hate this dude. I just remembered that this is a thing. This enemy, let me tell you. This is a great hammer off. Quake stone hammer, that's what it's called. See, this weapon, I think, is kind of 40 strength. Holy shit, what am I on? Uh, 38. Well, to be fair, it's not a huge stretch. I, I think this is a twinkling weapon, right? And I'm fairly sure I have a shit ton of twinkling. Yeah, 23. So, if push, push comes to shove, and I'm feeling like getting another weapon, Quakestone Hammer maybe? It's pretty much the same thing as this one, as in Vorts. Same. Oh yeah, you gotta be careful.
Man, fighting these enemies in this type of environment is a pleasure. So yeah, uh, I think that's definitely going to be my alternate weapon. If I don't know what would not like work out with wards. It's like hella OP. Eat shit. Bam. Alright, this... What the hell is going... Is my controller busted? This is a fairly unstable controller. This is the older one. I don't know what the hell is going on. It's like making hella weird movements and... Uh, what? Oh. God damn. Well, hopefully it stops because beating Freed like this is going to be even more of a challenge. If you hear weird noises, my dog is... Uh, do I have to let my dog out? I have to let my dog out. Hold on one second. Alright. This is... Sorry about the weird... Yeah, I don't know if I should cut that out or not. It's a pretty funny life situation. Just how it goes around here. My dog was sleeping in my room before I started recording. And you know, sometimes when she's in here, she sleeps the whole hour. Uh, sometimes she hears something. You know how dogs are. They never really sleep super deep. Always on alert. I think she probably heard something and decided to investigate. So yeah, where was I? I was talking about something. Oh yeah, the quake stone. Oh, do I want to go down here? We have to, don't we? Pretty sure we do. Because of the statue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are doing some bug crushing activities here. There was a... There it is. Like ages ago, we were on holiday somewhere. I think like Greece or Italy, I don't remember. And there was this like really, really fun arcade game because arcades were still a thing. Actually, arcades are still a thing even now, but even more so back then, there was a really fun game where you had like this rubber hammer and the objective was to just like squash bugs and um, beetles and all that. That was a really fun game. And you could win prizes and shit. I think I won something on that, which I've not really won much ever at the arcade, but I think I won like a key holder or something. Man, House of the Dead 3. That was the fun one. And four as well, because three had the shot. Oh, hello, accidental gesture. Three had the shotgun, which was awesome. And um, four had like this Uzi or like submachine gun. Those games were m really, really fun. Good old arcade games. Tekken as well. That was one of the first ones I remember playing. Tekken 3, I think. Whichever, the first one that had the kangaroo in it. I remember playing that one. No idea what I was doing, of course. But fun to mash buttons. So I will go down here, activate the whatever. I'm not gonna collect too much. Oh yeah, people ask me to. Ah yes, there is a thing thou shouldst by rights possess, a remembrance of this cold world to the great Lord of London. Oh, that's really cool. I am the Lord. Sounds like a plan. So she moved, didn't she? Wait, does she move or... 
Yeah, she does. How did you get up here? Kind of ugly looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, she's making her painted world. Sounds like a plan. People also asked me to talk to Yuria. I think after killing Freed. There's apparently some... Some unique dialogue, which I have heard about. I think I've heard the dialogue as well, but I don't remember what it is. <clears throat> because they're sisters, for anyone who doesn't know. Spoiler alert. Is this the... I don't remember what the best way to do this is. Aside from crushing these little bitches. Cutscene immunity is quite a convenient thing. <clears throat> I think my armor looks sicker with the Slave Knight stuff. Oh, she's pissed. As soon as you unlock this statue, you know she's pissed. But one thing I have to commend this DLC on is that they do set up this stuff pretty well because the trailer showed Father Ariandel. So obviously you saw the big monster. So yeah, you saw her. I mean, you saw him. Or you saw her as well. You know, but... So annoying. But you know, it's like you never would think that she would be the boss. But she is. She is. Oh, the grab attack. Did you see that sick ass heal? That was a that was a just frame for sure. Just frame Dark Souls heal. Why am I even doing this? Oh, Willem stuff. Did this fool straight up get eaten or something? I have so much stuff here. Oh, shrine. That's not the. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter. It was just kind of automatic to pick the shrine. So yeah, it's kind of a good bait and switch that they did. Because she is the main boss. Not... What the fuck is going on? Oh, hold on. I'm about to straight up switch controllers on the fly. Because this one... This one is here as well. It's just... I had it on my... It's still doing it. No, no it's not. I don't know. I can't tell if it's my controller or not. Okay. I had to check. <clears throat> Do you have unique dialogue? Oh. Sweet fragrance long faded from our own bosoms. My lord, how this came to pass, I know not, but take heed. Kindness can wear upon those principles. Our lord and I prithee, play when the moment cometh. The age of fire was found at the gods of 
I think she always said that. Interesting. I don't know if that was because of the... No, it's still doing it. What? Am I like not positioned? I, I don't know what the hell is going on. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. PlayStation is... Hopefully it's not gonna like melt down or something because... I really don't want to buy a new PlayStation 4. Alright, whatever. I mean, it has seen quite a bit of use, though. Still, don't break. I'm talking to you. Alright, what do you say? Yeah, she is the. She has. That's the piece of unique dialogue. What a bitch. You've come for your head. Can't really get his soul, so... This is a very well designed enemy. I will give it up. <clears throat> Look into that giant bowl of soup. He's ugly as shit. She's actually kind of badass, honestly. I will snuff out these ashes for good. Sounds like a plan. Oh man, do I hate this boss fight? Especially since it's been a hot minute since I fought her. Ouch. Oh, 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 this is gonna... Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know there were this many references. Oh, I fucking hate this boss. Which is a good thing to know that I'm not the only one who hates, to, hates this boss. Oh shit, I'm only th already 30 minutes in. Looks like I'm not gonna be able to. Well, depending on how many attempts it takes, which... Judging by that attempt, it's gonna take a shit ton. Oh man, like this is... It's gonna be painful. That was the Neo in me. Trying to pick up my bloodstain with. Problem is I'm incredibly slow. Oh, how do you do this? Shit. Oh, it doesn't kill. Return from whence thou 
That's all I can say. That's all I can do. It's not even like me not being strong enough. It's just I have completely forgotten how to fight this boss. Because the last time I fought her was in the pyro guide. When I did that. And that pyro guide was... A long ass time ago, I'll tell you that. Now you can backstab her. Okay, this is more like it. I don't think so. Yeah, you can interrupt. There is so much delay on everything I'm doing. What the hell is going? What the? Mm. Is it my leg blocking it? I had my leg raised up. We'll watch this once. There is a lot of blood. Although, she did just get fucked up by a great hammer, so there would be a lot of blood. How is there snow falling in here? Probably because there is no roof. He is pissed. I'm gonna have to do some sneaky inventory management here because I wanna I wanna buff myself with a Hume or an Ember or whatever. Question is, am I quick enough? I hate that she wakes up. No, you know what? I her third phase is fucking god awful and man am I not looking forward to it. this one is actually a fairly tame phase because the crow father has like so little HP you only have to kill one of them it's more like when his defenses are shit what up name a more iconic duo I'll wait That was sick. Inventory management. Yeah, okay. Frostbite. I mean, I mind, but it ain't the end of the world. How did I not use a single? Yeah, eat shit. Oh wow, that was insanely <laughs> quick. Alright. Here comes... Now it's time to party. Where is she? Because she spawned... Oh no. Oh no. Okay, gather the Quan. Stop! Seriously. Why 
What does she do? Oh, yeah. It's actually fairly tame. Eat shit. What I always disliked about this boss is that she feels like a Bloodborne boss. <laughs> like, look at... Like, look, she doesn't, she doesn't stop. And it's... Look, I can't... Fuck you, seriously. You're the worst boss in this goddamn game. Are you... Oh, really? What I was trying to do there... Is... Can you not heal with these? Motherfuck. Oh, ho ho. I got her. Seriously. Fuck this boss. But, second attempt, I will take that. I will take that. I don't remember if anything happens here. What the fuck is this? This weird snake thing. This is a reused asset, right? Straight up. Oh, man. That was... You know, I had muted reactions, but the reason was is because I was concentrating so hard. That was that was sweaty. That was really sweaty. I really thought she was gonna kill me at the end, and I probably would have put my controller through the TV if that had happened. I'm joking, of course, but am I? Maybe not. All right. You have your flame. Yep. I will see it. No thanks, special one. You're welcome. Finish the painting of a coal. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, I got you. See my problem with the DLC lore and what the DLC covers is that essentially it's just a side story, you know. Like the interesting thing about wow, that's quite that's quite the warp you can do here, quite the journey you can cover. Um, you know, like you look at Dark Souls 2's, especially Scholar of the First Sins DLCs. They exp they actually expand the story in a meaningful way, whereas here it does tell a par parallel story. That's a mouthful, parallel story, but it doesn't really expand on the lore of Dark Souls as it is. Can I only get... Okay. Because really the only thing you really find out is that the Painted Worlds have the same cycle and the Dark Soul is needed to um, repaint the world, which you know, it doesn't like Tell us much. Our Lord and Liege. Twas the soul of my sister, Elfrida. The poor wench turned to ash, who would abandon my lord. If thou wouldst, let it nourish thy lordship, and in return do her vast and more kindness. Remember those who stayed by her to the end. In the shadows cast by 
I know, I have a job to do. We got it. But yeah, she... That was fairly interesting. Be safe. Our Lord and Lady should... But I'm not gonna make that shitty weapon out of it. Um, I hate that. That weapon is so anime. And you know, a certain amount of anime in these weapons is fun, but... There is such a thing as too much anime. And you never want too much anime. Holy shit, it's late. I'm just looking at the clock here. Uh, I got to recording kind of late, actually, now that I think about it. The question is, do I want to do this stupid wolf boss? Uh, I feel like it's going to really take a long time, so... You know what, I'm just going to leave it for the next episode. I think we'll wrap it up here. That was a surprising amount of progress that I made. I did not expect to get her on the second try. I think that is the quickest and easiest free fight I've ever had. And it was still way too fucking stressful for my liking. So yeah, next episode, we're gonna finish this. And also in the next episode, it's time for DLC number two. Which I still have to download, I think. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 3. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.